Scott Action Jackson here, back with some actual WWE 2K18 news. It was first revealed by Sports Center that the cover athlete, athlete in quotations, for WWE 2K18 is going to be the Kingslayer, Seth Rollins. A little bit after this, a trailer was dropped where we have somebody destroying all kinds of different props and stuff from a WWE vault. And later this vandal reveals himself to be Seth Rollins. With the tagline showing, be like no one. And with this, hopefully the reserves have opened up for WWE 2K18. Also, there has been two additional versions revealed. There's, of course, your standard normal version that everyone expects. There's also a deluxe edition and a collector's edition. Now, apparently the deluxe edition will include a season pass, bonus digital content, and along with the deluxe and collector's edition, early access that you can get four days earlier than the standard release. Which means you can get it on Friday, October 13th. Oh, that's not good. Where the standard one will come out on October 17th. Now, both the standard and deluxe edition will be both physical and digital. The collector's, edi eh. the collector's edition will only be physical. Because knowing them, it'll be, it'll be some kind of statue or something. The odd thing is, there is no price reveal as of right now for the deluxe and collector's edition. One thing I'm wondering is what this be like no one means as far as the tag for 2K18. I mean, we, we kind of have that feeling in the 2K17 with the, your create your own character mode it, to go into the WWE universe and build your character to win championships where you don't have to be like other superstars. You can be your own superstar and try to go up the ranks. So I wonder if this means it's going to try and take that and one-up it. Of course, the big question is, with the Collector's Edition... Will it be centered on somebody else, like maybe The Undertaker? But we can all expect the standard edition to be about 60 bucks. The deluxe edition being with the season pass, I could see maybe being close to a hundred. I don't know exactly how much, but the collector's edition I don't know. I don't I don't actually know how much the collector's edition would be. I know oftentimes in the past, the collector's editions were usually about $100, but with the deluxe edition being released this time around, I don't know. I mean, it, it, I know it, to me, it's nice that they're doing an early access for those who get the deluxe and collector's edition, but it seems to be something that they're doing and throwing on just about every game, which to me is a bit upsetting because... It kind of takes away from its original main release. But for those who want to look this, I guess, trailer that they released up, you can probably go to the WWE's website, uh, other YouTube's channels like IGN and stuff like that that are also showing this uh, Vandal trailer. I think that's what they are labeling as Vandal trailer concerned. There's a, it's Seth Rollins going in destroying pieces from a WWE vault. I don't know if it's a WWE vault, but it's more or less destroying props like a uh, Bruce Barbie cakes, uh, hair clippers. The, the one upsetting thing that was destroyed or seemed to, to be destroyed was the undertaker's cap and coat on top of a casket. And I say seem because if they do make undertaker part of the collector's edition, there could be like another video or something that can show that be, being brought back or extinguished. Uh, during this initial reveal trailer thing, there's no gameplay footage revealed, just like in the other ones in the past with like the Stinger one, the Goldberg one, and um, of course Brock Lesnar's Suplex City cover and reveal, but I'm guessing we'll probably get some gameplay footage, if not around SummerSlam time, maybe like the month after, which hopefully they'll try to one-up the graphics and stuff and try to fix the control scheme considering there's a few issues with the controls as far as 
as far as my experience with WWE 2K17. But yeah, this is just a video for me to bring this up and I was going to try and work on this video and put it out there in between my E3 videos concerning how long they're taking to be made. So that's it for this one. Just keep an eye out for the last E3 videos that I'm working on and trying to work on. So until next time, bye.